Hello everybody, I'm back with another knife review. I just uh, got this in today. Um, this is from A.G. Russell Knives, as you can tell by the box. Uh, this is the first for me because I've never uh, owned an A.G. Russell knife. So uh, I saw this on the website, I love the design, so I thought I'd pick it up and give it a try. Now, this knife is what they call uh, the seconds uh, line. And what it is, is um, uh, uh, these, are, these are the less than perfect versions of the uh, production models, uh, which means, and they say around the website that these may have some slight handle blemishes or uh, it may not open as smooth as, a, as a, the 100% the, the, the top quality versions. And you know, and they give it to you at a discount. So I thought, I want to give it a try. I like the design. Um, let me open the blade for you really quick. This reminds me of the uh, Boca Escrima, actually. <laughs> it, just, it just screams uh, that 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 design for me for some reason. Um, nice little dagger looking looking uh, blade. It's very small, as you can see in my hand here. I mean, it barely goes across the width of my whole hand. Um, fits very nicely in the hand. Uh, this pocket clip's a little intrusive, but um, you know, bring it up closer here, so it kind of V's out. But it's very strong, though. I mean, this this knife's made in the USA. Um, and look at these thick titanium scales on here. Love it. And the the thick false edge on here. Now it is a, a flat ground, uh, full satin finish on this three inch blade. It's very sharp, uh, straight out. Uh, now what makes this the uh, the seconds line is uh, uh, they they have a they put a small notch, I believe, on the ricasso. And yeah, let me see if I can show that to you here. So bring it up close here. See that little notch down there on the corner? That's that means it's from the seconds line. And um, and basically less less than uh, less than uh, perfect quality, um, uh, and so they, they they just give a discount. Now to show you how small this thing is, this is my full size uh, Griptilian. Put it right next to for comparison. So this knife is about the same length as the Sog Visionary One I reviewed the other day. Um, so it's really very discreet. Uh, it feels really nice in the hand. I mean, it's, it's just uh, the titanium. I mean, just beautiful. I, I have a huge fetish for titanium frame locking uh, knives, and uh, this just fit the bill when I saw it. Uh, Love that finish on the blade. Um, now there there are screws to remove the um, uh, the the. the um, the pocket clip here so you know so they're, they're just regular uh, Phillips head screw uh, screws so uh, you can go and just move it right off uh, there is a uh, Torx head uh, screw for um, for pivot adjustment which I may adjust because this is a very th uh, stiff knife as they say this doesn't open uh, you know as smoothly as, as the uh, as the uh, other versions the, the full 100% uh, perfect versions of it so there are two uh, thumb studs here, but it's more for the blade stop. It's not really meant for you, you know flicking out. There's really no way. Um, the uh, you can hear that here. The uh, frame lock is very tight. Hear that? So uh, let me take this away here. Uh, basically, uh, to open it, you know, see obviously you can't get to the thumb stud. It's, it's just perfectly. Uh, it's perfectly aligned with the frame here itself, so there's really no way of getting it. But of course, you know, you just you just press this and flops uh, should should flick out. But because this is a second line, it doesn't really quite uh, go anywhere. So you have to give it a nice uh, wrist flick, and it will shoot right out. So it takes a little bit of practice. I mean, at least for me, it did. I've I couldn't really figure it out at first because it was so it was so stiff that the the the, the pivot. So. Um, there's a lack of a lanyard hold, even though on the website I swear there's a lanyard hold here, but I guess not because they need it for for a spacer. That makes sense, you know, since since there there's there's like absolutely no spacers. It's basically completely open. I love this. I mean, if you want to clean this out, I mean, look at that. So very easy to clean out. So this is the only spacer, and then you got the pivot. That's it. There's there's nothing else uh, holding this knife together. Um, but yeah, beautiful, very beautiful knife. Uh, the screws are not not uh, or screws. The pocket clip is uh, not a, uh, a reversible in any way, so it just comes uh, tip down, right-handed carry. Uh, I may take it off actually because, uh, like like I showed you before, it's really intrusive actually. And when you're holding on to it, I mean, it, it still feels okay, but you know, it may, may feel a little bit better without it on there. Um, so I mean, just, just I mean, when you when you're opening it and closing it with, with your with your fing, finger, it actually is, feels very smooth. It, it just won't it just won't swing out. That's all. So there we go. So anyway, uh, like I said, this is three inches uh, 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 blade all the way down to Ricasso. Uh, it's 100, uh, 100. It's 154 cm steel, titanium scales, closed. It's about uh, three and three quarters. It weighs just under three ounces. Uh, spear point, uh, satin finish. Uh, I just love it. I mean, I, it, this is a beautifully made knife, so I'm looking forward to using it, or you know, just just for basic utility um, and seeing how how it performs. Um, but so far, I'm very impressed with it, and I'm I'm looking forward to using it. Um, anyway, uh, this is my quick overview of the AG Russell uh, frame locking spear point knife.
Uh, so I hope you found this uh, review helpful. Thank you.